Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Deshpande, would like to welcome you all in my Ayurveda Academy YouTube channel. Myself is Professor Dr. R.R. Deshpande. I am MD in Ayurvedic Medicine, that is Kai Chikitsa, and MD in Ayurvedic Physiology, that is a Kriya Sharir, Ayurvedic Physiology, yes. And today's topic is again interesting topic for the students as well as for the medical practitioners. Mums, this type of the fever is very common in general medical practice. So everybody should know about the causes, symptoms and the management. So today we are going to see this particular important topic that is mums. For paid online consultation and paid online classes of BMS, you can contact me only through the WhatsApp 9226810630. So let us start to discuss about Kaya Chikitsa subject. My dear friends, Kaya Chikitsa is a very important subject for the fourth year BMS. Kaya Chikitsa is Ayurvedic internal medicine. Okay, so this is the lecture regarding the Kaya Chikitsa subject for fourth year BMS, but this is also useful for the general medical practitioner. Okay, so this particular lecture is based on the CCIM syllabus because this point is coming in paper one, Kai Chikitsa, paper one, part B, point number one, there is a topic called the fever and the students are expected to various types of the fevers that are occurring in our general medical practice. So mums is a topic which is very frequently asked for the examination for SAQ, short answer question. So what is mumps? This can be called as epidemic parotitis. Epidemic, huh? because this spreads very uh, fastly in a locality that is called as epidemic. Like you know that a particular this, uh, our corona infection is a panademic, but this is only epidemic, okay? Here there are two parotid glands, that is salivary glands. And when that particular, either one side or the both side, but mostly it is on the one side here, 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 you can see, uh, here is a parotid gland. So there is an inflammation of this parotid gland. So parotitis. I am repeatedly telling you that whenever there is a suffix, I-T-I-S, this indicates inflammation. I have given all the time examples. For example, tonsillitis, pharyngitis, laryngitis, bronchitis, pneumonitis, huh? appendicitis, salpingitis, so many infect inflammations can take place at the different organs, okay? So parotitis is an inflammation of parotid gland. Okay, so what is the cause? Virus spread by droplet infection. So must be careful about sneezing, coughing, etc. because spread is through droplet infection, through the air, okay? Involves one or both parotid glands, one or both parotid glands. Sometimes submandibular or sublingual glands can be involved very rarely. Then the most problematic of this disease, most problem that testis, most important organ for the sperm formation, spermatogenesis. So testis, ovary, pancreas, brain, this can be involved. But my dear friends, as per my knowledge and experience in our general medical practice, mumps and relation of the problem with the testes is very common. Or chitis. Yes, this is very common complication. And that affects your formation of sperms. Oh my God. Then there may be sterility problem. So don't take this mumps as a very casual disease. No, you should be very serious about this disease. This mumps is seen in young children and young adults. Incubation period, three weeks. You must, students must remember the incubation period of the different diseases because it is also asked in the postgraduate MDMS entrance examination. Okay, so incubation period of different diseases. So mumps, incubation period of three weeks. What does it mean? After getting the infection, the symptoms will be shown within a period of three weeks, after three weeks. So when the patient of mums comes to the doctor, 
what we ask to the that particular child or the parents whether his friend or her friends are have it or had this particular mums previously ah oh, yes 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 in the school his friend has that particular mums then that is that infection was taken from that his friend and that now he has started to develop the symptoms so after three weeks it can also show the symptoms now clinical features fever is from 100 to 101 moderate type of fever degrees fahrenheit with chill not rigor and little rigor weakness and malaise stiffness of the jaw here uh, patient cannot open the mouth stiffness of the jaw inability uh, patient cannot say uh, no he cannot open the mouth dryness of mouth with foul smell pain and swelling here pain and swelling over the parotid region parotid glands are enlarged one after another at an interval of 24 to 36 hours so within a couple of days the first you are maybe right gland involved then after two days left gland can also be involved okay but most of the times it is also unilateral so this is sublingual lingual tongue sublingual gland these are all salivary glands sub maxillary glands but here below the ear actually i am showing you the area here here this is parotid gland right and left now can you see huge 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 swelling mums so this is typical inflammation of the parotid gland don't forget this picture you have to draw this in your examination clinical features continued of mums parotitis sometimes both the glands are enlarged at the same time the hollow or the groove between the angle of jaw and the mastoid process is filled up with the little bit secretions tenderness ah, tender oh my god oh doctor don't touch it what is meant by tenderness in ayurved it is called as sparsha asahatva please write down this word sanskrit words sparsha sahatva sparsha asahatva patient cannot tolerate the touch of the doctor no he cannot tolerate ah, so he when you will start palpating oh doctor paining paining this is tenderness tenderness over the posterior ramus of the mandible okay sometimes upper abdominal pain due to pancreatitis or pain in the testes or pain in the lower abdomen due to oophritis uh, inflammation of the ovaries or headache very rarely but maybe due to the meningitis so these are the different complications uh, concomitant diseases mums is explained in ayurveda as a pashana gardhab very interesting word pashana gardhab parotitis pashana gardhab word in ayurveda okay fever and glandular swelling subside automatically within few days because this is viral infection now complication that i had talked to you orchitis commonest complication usually unilateral one testis is swollen but when bilateral that may produce sterility no child after marriage no child sterility why because of the testicular atrophy testicular atrophy shrinkage shrink no spermatogenesis okay then complications of mums parotitis pashana gardhab uphritis prostatitis mastitis that is breast inflammation of the breast pancreatitis severe abdominal pain vomiting fever and collapse this needs the hospital admission pancreatitis is a very serious disease pancreatitis inflammation of pancreas is a serious disease serum amylase is increased enzyme okay encephalitis this is complication meningitis and thyroiditis next investigations complement fixation test is positive but very rarely it is done this is most of the time clinical diagnosis seeing and examining the patient serum amylase is raised even without pancreatic involvement this is a blood test serum amylase is raised treatment first patient should be isolated droplet infection if the child goes to the school he can spread the infection to the different many children so don't send 
to the school don't go to the office don't go to your business oral hygiene oral hygiene is very important cleansing in ayurveda it is a kavala and gandusha okay that is for example trifala kashaya decoction like kaval and gargling then liquid diet because the patient cannot open the mouth he cannot uh, digest or he cannot engulf that solid particle solid food symptomatic treatment because this is viral infection tablet combiflam analgesic which reduces the pain and anti inflammatory which reduces the inflammation one morning one afternoon one in the evening a little bit after food for orchitis if then you find that testis has been swollen and inflamed then prednisolone or visolon tablet 40 mg one tds steroids can be started and it should be tapered off while stopping the steroid you should not stop the steroid immediately now mumps treatment in general the patient with unilateral edema and no fever we can use the following medicines sukshma trifala ayurved rasashala pune ayurvedic treatment yes pashana gardhav one tablet three times in a day one morning one afternoon one evening then vata vidhamsaras analgesic this is antiviral sukshma trifala one tablet three times in a day lakshmi narayan ras to build up your immunity ha huh? against the viral infection one tablet three times in a day if fever persist and bilateral edema little stronger treatment suksh sukshma chaturbhuj ras sukshma chaturbhuj ras 100 mg three times in a day ras sindur 100 mg and vyadi harana ras 50 mg mixed a powder you can uh, triturate it and make a powder and give the uh, the parcels packets to the patient of churnas uh, three times in a day local application here you can apply dashanga lep in the market it is available or lep guti guti means tablet you have to make a paste from this lep guti and apply over it with the warm water uh, okay regimen do's and don'ts patya patya bed rest not necessarily bed rest but stay at home gargle with the lukewarm saline water avoid sour and spicy food because pitta prakopak ahar vya you should stop it if orchitis is present as a complication please refer to the specialist to avoid the infertility problem after marriage take due precaution be cautious mumps and orchitis always remember this complication now mumps causes a very fast revision majority in the children under 15 caused by paramyxoma virus typical type of virus portal of entry upper respiratory tract it spreads to the blood stream and has a tendency to multiply in glandular structures spreads from human reservoir by direct contact airborne droplet nuclei or fomitus contaminated by infected saliva okay incubation period 16 to 21 days so this is all about today's interesting lecture of mumps or parotitis or pashana gardhav in ayurveda this is kai chikitsa lecture for fourth year bms of course this is lecture is very useful for general medical practitioner ccm syllabus is in front of me and paper 1 part b point number 1 of fever and this is one of the type of the fever one of the cause of the important uh, fever is mumps so but this is a educational video as i know uh, everybody knows that dr deshpande is always telling disclaimer vaidhanik ishara kaun si bhi bimari mein yatha avashyak yatha kal vaidyakiy sala lena bahut hi zarurat hai if you are suffering from cerebral palsy arthritis diabetes cancer motor neuron disease attention deficit hyperactive children uh, then idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura any type of chronic or autoimmune diseases and you want the help from ayurveda definitely you can come to me i have the very good team of the doctors we will definitely give the helping hand for treating these problems my whatsapp number is 9226810630 for paid online consultation and paid online bms classes then last but not least i always request that you please like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel by folding my hands but i wish everybody should have the good health sarve bisukina santu sarve santu niramaya सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत मा कश्चि दुखमापनुया ऑल द बेस्ट